Now, a cryptocurrency that was created as a joke has emerged as one of the most widely traded digital coins. Rap artist Snoop Dogg and Tesla founder Elon Musk are among many recognisable figures investing in Dogecoin. That's helped push up its price by more than 8,000% this year to around 40 cents. On Tuesday, proponents of the so-called meme coin commemorated Doge Day, vying to drive up the price to $1. Let's get more on this now with Alex de Vries in the Dutch city of Elmere. He's a financial economist and founder of the online platform Digiconomist. Welcome to the program, Alex. Now, we know Dogecoin was started literally as a joke to basically satirise the proliferation of cryptocurrencies, but now it's actually exceeded around $50 billion in market value, exceeding the worth of more established companies like Marriott, Ford and even Kraft Heinz. So given that this is happening, is Doge still a joke? Yes, absolutely. And, you know, just the fact that they picked uh, April 20 to pump up the value of Dogecoin is also a joke because April 20 is an unofficial holiday in cannabis culture and 420 is used to refer to the consumption of cannabis. So it's been a, a joke from start to finish. But even back in 2009, when Bitcoin was launched, a lot of people were skeptical about that idea. But we now know that Bitcoin has exceeded uh, the $60,000 mark. Uh, the whole market is worth more than a trillion dollars right now. And it's being embraced by businesses and institutional investors. Could the same thing happen to Dogecoin? Well, it seems extremely unlikely, especially given that the price of Dogecoin is openly being manipulated. Like today, the communities of Dogecoin are, are openly working together to push up the value of, of Dogecoin higher. And from an investor perspective, that is a huge risk. So you don't want to put your money in something that is so manipulated. Now, given that Doge has no real life applications right now, is it then a purely speculative asset? And do you expect that a lot of people will be hurt by this, particularly those who, uh, the retail investors who've invested vast sums of money into it? Yes, sadly, yes. Uh, it's not the first time this year we see an online community driving up the price of an asset. We have seen that happen, for example, before with GameStop. And also a lot of people ended up getting hurt over there. So I don't see why this would be any different. So explain to us then what makes Doge different from Bitcoin and Ethereum, the world's second largest cryptocurrency. Well, Dogecoin is actually a copy of Bitcoin, except they took off the logo and they put uh, a dog on it. Uh, that was uh, part of the joke. So in essence, the technology isn't, isn't that different from uh, Bitcoin or Litecoin. It's just that you know, they never intended this to become something that was equally serious. Okay, now we have seen a boom in spending on cryptocurrencies over the last 12 months. Many analysts say that's the result of uh, economies being 
awash with stimulus money, also the rise of uh, online platforms that allow people to trade in crypto without paying any fees. Do you expect that trend to continue or is this a, a bit of a fad? Well, I, I do think that this general trend will continue on, like even if Dogecoin fades, there will be another one popping up. And, you know, even every other day we see a new boom in another cryptocurrency. Uh, so this this is not a trend that will disappear. It might just be Dogecoin that will go uh, and may go higher uh, before it crashes. But uh, even if Dogecoin fades, there will be another asset that people will invest in. Okay, Alex DeFries, let's see what happens. But thank you again for joining us on the program.